Later this morning, many of Quebec's elementary teachers are heading back to work as schools prepare to reopen one week from today. There have been nearly 32,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in that province. More than 22,000 of those cases are still considered active. This is a lot of teachers concerned about the move to reopen right now. Joining us with more is Quebec elementary teacher Cheryl Villeneuve. Good to have you with us this morning. Thank you for having me. You officially head back to work in a couple of hours this morning. How are you feeling? Well, I think all teachers are feeling uh, very concerned about uh, having to set up classrooms with all the restrictions that we need to put in place in a very short period of time. What are some of the restrictions? Well, we have to make sure that we keep two meter distance from the children. So when the government talks about having to make sure to bring back uh, students that are at risk, we're talking about having to give emotional support and guidance to children from a two meter distance sure. while in the school. You bring up a very good point. You are a grade four teacher. What are the plans in place to try to keep children apart from one another, let alone teachers and kids? Right. So we're, they're each going to have their own working space for the day and they're going to stay in one classroom for the day. They may not even have their actual teacher, depending on that teacher's uh, personal health condition. And so they will also have to consider to stay in one area, bring their own food. They will not be given hot lunches. They will not be given gym classes. They will not be given music classes. And outdoor play will be organized where they will not be allowed to socialize with each other. So they can't play together. They can't sit near one another. Basically, they're in their no. desks for most of the day. Correct. Uh, you have an underlying health condition and the province has said it is not recommended for you to return to school uh, until uh, until the following year. So what are you planning to do? So I'm going to continue to work with my students from a distance. And uh, as I've been doing with Zoom and giving them emotional support, uh, giving their family support, any type of uh, needs that they have, whether it be food, uh, because I do work in a neighborhood, a lower socioeconomic neighborhood. So we are giving them that support as we have been for the last seven weeks. And we will continue to do that. There's a real uh, there's really two sides on this debate from parents, one who want to see their kids back in school, the others who mm -hmm. feel it's unsafe. What are you hearing? I'm hearing a mixed uh, mixed opinion. Uh, there are a lot of people that have no choice, so they will have to send their child to school, and they're very worried, uh, not necessarily about their children giving it to others, but about the adults giving it to their children. Uh, we really don't know enough about this virus right now to be opening up the schools completely, and we really need more time to prepare uh, if we have to do this in September. We're given a very short time to mobilize. Uh, teachers are, are resilient and so are children, but we do need more time and we need more information. Well, our thoughts are definitely with you and the other teachers in Quebec as you head to school back into the building for the first time just a couple of hours from now. Cheryl, thanks for talking to us. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.